Well, my first work with Captain America was a pleasure because I, it was a patriotic and very turbulent time. And I'm thoroughly American. That's the way I always thought of myself. And Captain America was somehow the perfect expression of my own patriotism. And I enjoyed doing Captain America every minute of it. So uh, all my stories and episodes uh, had a certain enthusiasm, which helped sell the magazine. And of course, essentially, that was my job. My job, like any other artist, is to sell the magazine. It's business, and I knew that. So, I was glad that my own enthusiasm helped produce the kind of material that was good for the magazine. We're next to the brandiest kid on the face of the earth. But he's not playing video games or listening to the soundtrack of Wayne's World. He's playing with the well, shows, all the sound effects. Well, I appreciate it very, very highly. And I think it's uh, just great of the, uh, you know, Gil to give me that kind of an endorsement. We have a psychotic watch over Yes. Yes. Well, it's because I could see the entire picture in my own mind, and it was very, very real to me. I knew everything that was going on, and if I drew a crowd of people, they had to be there, because that, that was part of my life. Because I came from an overcrowded section oh, yeah. of, the, yeah, of the Lower East Side, and all my life was filled with people in no. the streets no. by the thousands. And that has to become part of your own psyche. Well, I think it reflects my own respect for that particular meeting. I've always respected comics highly. Well, why do people love dancing? Why do people love performing in any other way? Why do people become proficient in business? Because they like that sort of thing. I don't think people ever do anything that they don't like. I've never met a man who didn't like what he does, actually. And, uh, Although, you know, uh, they may not at the beginning uh, want to, you know, be a minor executive. However, they stick to their job, they do something creative, and they get promoted. They get promoted. And that's, in essence, what happened to me. I, I like doing comics, and I got promoted. How do you know you're a legend? When you get to be my age. <laughs> oh, sir. It is. It is. Ross? Do you think I'll put this in? She's marvelous.
What's it like being married to a comic book legend? Are you a legend? <laughs> are you? <laughs> no, I'm not a legend. They're always saying, are you? They're, no. they're always saying to me, are you Roz, the famous Roz? I said, I'm Roz. I don't know how famous I am. <laughs> she is. But I've enjoyed it. We've had, we've had yeah. fun. We have fun all those years. We're married 51 years. And it's been uh, entertaining. What's this guy really like? Hard, Just the way you see him. Very absent-minded. He'll remember things 50 years ago, but he'll forget what happened yesterday. Hi, he loves to tell war stories. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, I when once, I, that's when I walk out of the room. <laughs> I once drew a bomber, and I call it the Rosalind K. Right on the knee. Right on uh, D.C. But it was a big, fat plane. I said, I said you could have made me do a nice sleep. Yeah, there was, there was a lot of going type of plane. Uh, like a B-47. But it's been fun because he always worked at home. He was a great babysitter. Thank you. Who's your favorite yeah. character? And, uh, um, I guess I'd like to tell you. Do you like Frightful? I like Frightful. Frightful gets the phone call? Oh, I like it. Thank you very much. I thank you. I thank you. Oh, it's desire. Yeah. 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 I'm having a lot of fun with this character. Well, it's wonderful. <laughs> oh, it's great work because it gives me a chance to be creative. And uh, what Tops does is uh, activate my ideas and turn them into very, very proficient books. And so I'm grateful for the kind of opportunity that has cast me, you know, uh, in that respect, as a creative consultant, and uh, in essence, I'm an idea man, They've been very, very as, nice as much as you are. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our pleasure. Thank you. It's true. I, 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 I wrote this story called The Rosalind K. And it was about a bomb. Is that right? the story where he named the bomber after his wife. Right. And, uh, yeah, she bombed Berlin. <laughs> We're going to be submitting this um, documentary on comic book collecting to A&E and Discovery Channel. Oh, I see. And um, I just wanted to let you know that uh, it was interesting, I thought, I thought you would find it interesting, that, uh, to condense all of comic book history down to five or ten minutes and then decide which names could, in a sense, sum up all of comic book history. Think of the challenge of trying to choose those names. It is. And in every list, every survey we did, your name was in the group. The only one that was consistent in all groups. Well, it's gratifying. It really is.